Welcome to New Day Cleveland. I'm Natalie Herbick and we are calling this our breakfast round three. Why? Because we've done a couple of these shows before, but there are just so many unbelievable breakfast spots throughout Northeast Ohio. We're taking your advice too. Eric from Stowe recommended our first stop, this place. It's a 50s diner and it's called Johnny's Diner. Let's check it out. Look at that. We are starting this breakfast show off right. Great food, and look who I found. It's Johnny. How long have you had this place, Johnny? Well, we're going on our fourth year. Fourth year. So where did you come up with this 50s theme idea? Well, me and my wife, um, we were kicking it around, and we thought that Hudson needed a restaurant that not only had affordable, um, iconic home cooking, mm -hmm. but 50s is about as iconic as you can get. Sure is. So we said, let's go with it. So before this melts, because it is so hot and just looks like ooey gooey delicious goodness here, this is one of the signature dishes you have? Absolutely. Pancakes? Pancakes. Are they red, white, and blue pancakes? Absolutely, because we're very patriotic here. Look at that. They are hot. I can feel the heat just coming off of those. Is yes. this one of the biggest sellers that you have? Absolutely. Is it a stack of three that I'm seeing? It is a stack of three with fresh strawberries and fresh blueberries. Oh, okay, so that menu though, it is extensive. Oh, yes it is. It's very difficult to have everything on there, but it's well worth yeah. it. Is there a secret recipe to that? Because that is just delicious. Yep, it's my wife's secret recipe, and she won't even give it to me. She won't even give it to you? Nope. <laughs> well, she's back there. Michelle's back there somewhere. Yes, she I is. saw her. What a wonderful couple. And let me tell you, you really have made this place feel like home for a lot of the customers. You have people coming in here. They come in practically every day. Uh, absolutely. I saw Clark from Kent. Yes, Superman. <laughs> He's awesome. Cutest man I've ever seen in my entire life. So this really becomes more of like a hangout spot for people. Yes, it does. And more and more because we do on Wednesdays, we do our cruise night. And that benefits the Wounded Warrior Project. So our, our clientele base is building and building. I love that. I'm going to pull into the shot here. There well, it's go. in there, but I'm pulling it. I should say I'm pulling it closer to me because this looks so good. What is this? That's uh, corned beef, hash, and over easy eggs. So you... We make that all homemade. All homemade? Yep. Onions, fresh mm. potatoes, freshly cooked Vienna, corned beef. Awesome. So when you were coming up with this huge menu that you have, whose input was going into this? Was this all yours? Uh, pretty much me and my wife's. Really? Yes. That's a lengthy list. Now you used to have a place in Jersey. Yes, it was called John and Michelle's Best Little Luncheonette. Uh oh, now wait, you kicked her name out of this one. Well, I told her if she if she wanted her name on the marquee, she has to be here more. And <laughs> and coincidentally enough, she's here all the time now. No, you got to add it to the name. It can't be Johnny's Diner. It's I know. Be Johnny Michelle. I know. That's the next thing we're gonna do. <laughs> One of the other great things about this place is it's clearly family friendly. I'm sure the kids would go crazy over these. Oh, they do. And then you have behind us here this adorable little PlayStation for the kiddos. Yes, it was uh, donated to us by Step 2. So Step 2, which is right, right here Right around locally. the corner, yes. I love that. And if I knew it was going to be such a hit, I would have brought it in in year one. But we got we someone gave it to us from Step 2 a year ago. Are you serious? Yeah. So now, when it comes to the atmosphere and the vibe, you really you went all out with a 50 state. Absolutely. I love it. I love it, too. When you come here, you just you feel like you're back in time. It's it's not about just the breakfast. I said you have lunch and dinner, too. Yep. you got shakes. So yep. you, you have that diner vibe with the yep. shakes. hand it ice cream into the right into the milkshakes. Awesome. And then I hear your burgers are also out of this world. Oh, yeah. We serve an awesome burger and a large variety of them as well. And I'm telling you, when you walk in here and you look at that menu, you're going to have a hard choice. It's one of those places where I think you have to come back time and time again because you got to get breakfast, you got to get lunch, you got to get dinner, and several different things. Hey, though, the big question is to let people know where you are because I know it's easy to technically find, but then once you get back in here, you it gets a little hard. It does. We're, we're actually in what they call unofficially the Acme Plaza on, three, on 303 in Hudson, Ohio, 180 West Street, Square Street. All right, so you're in the Acme Plaza. Yes, we are. It's awesome. And maybe by the time you get here, that sign might say Johnny Michelle's, for now it does say Johnny's Diner, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Come check them out, it's definitely a cool place to be. Oh, well, thank you. It's everything you love about breakfast with a twist. Check out Twisted Citrus.
It's a unique spin on, on traditional breakfast favorites. We've traveled all over the country. You can see a lot of Florida, a lot of California and our influence here. Bright colors, um, great coffee. We have our own special brew that is made by Angel Falls Coffee in Highland Square in Akron. And people come here for that and they really feel cheery and happy when they walk in the door. If you look around the color scheme, it, it's hard not to. What we try and do here is we try and offer a twist on your typical breakfast. So while we do have a regular Benedict on the menu, we offer different versions of it. So with corn cakes as a base instead of an English muffin, with different kinds of sauces. Um, same thing for breakfast sandwiches. We have a traditional breakfast sandwich, but then we spice things up with um, the breakfast sandwich that might be on a luau ciabatta or a jalapeno bun, just to really give things a little different uh, flair, different flavor for breakfast. We travel a lot and breakfast is my favorite meal, so I try and find inspiration um, different places we go to, um, a lot of coastal places. Um, we are heavily influenced by the Southwest, Arizona, so there is a lot of spice um, in a lot of our uh, breakfast breakfast uh, meals. Um, mine for the cinnamon roll pancake because I gravitate towards sweet as opposed to spicy or savory. So that would be my number one go-to for anybody. So this one here is, a, is our best-selling omelet and it's a Bayou Voodoo. So what we've done is, I mean again, we really try and do things differently with sauces, um, but this has um, a dozen Cajun spice shrimp, andouille sausage, pepper jack cheese, and we top it with a Creole cream sauce. Um, this one right here is one of the breakfast sandwiches I was telling you about. We took our inspiration here. A um, little take on the Hawaiian breakfast sandwich. So it's a luau ciabatta that um, they actually make for the Polynesian Hotel at Disney World. So this became out on the market. I'm from South Florida originally, so we spent lots of times going to the Polynesian. Loved that bread. So when this came on the market, we decided to develop a sandwich around it. Pepper jack cheese, um, you know, ham, eggs, all that kind of good stuff. This one here. Another coastal inspiration, it's our Maui Wowie, so you can tell I like to vacation near the beach. <laughs> um, but this is our Hawaiian stuffed bread, pineapple cream cheese topped with toasted coconut and bananas. Last one here is um, one of my husband's personal favorite on the Benedict. It is our Benny and Fuego. So it is one of our spiciest things on the menu. Um, we do it with our jalapeno corn cakes, homemade chorizo. We top it with a sriracha hollandaise sauce and some fresh jalapenos. There's a great vibe here. We have a real wide variety of, of different kinds of people that come to the restaurant, from, from hipsters to families to older people. So it's a great mix on the weekends. It's really energetic and lively in here. We have a Make Your Own Bloody Mary bar. Um, so there's a, there's a, there's a laid-back, you know, interesting feel, and people sit here, drink coffee, have their breakfast, have their cocktails, and have a great weekend experience here, whether they're here on the weekend or here during the week. Both are great. One of the things we wanted to bring to Canton in, North, in this area, Stark County, was something that was different. I mean, we have a lot of diners and they're great, but nothing that uh, puts out a, the product that we are proud of here, which is so different than you'll find anywhere. In fact, you could see it in big markets, so people here come because there's nothing else like it anywhere around. Well, what we try and tell people is to come with a group. Come with four, pick something different off the menu, and then just sort of get, get share plates and so you get a little taste of everything. We really try and get people to even, we do our gourmet pancakes just as a single, so you can get one for the table and you can try just a different, a different flavor. That's what we really try and get people to do is just, food's fun. Just try and, uh, you know, try and have some fun with it in the morning. Twisted Citrus is located on North Main in North Canton. Coming up after the break, it's a restaurant that was born on a food truck. I make biscuits. I've got some in the oven right now. Uh, we do a, this is a, called a Hatfield hash. It's like a smoked paprika potato hash with onions and garlic. Um, we do omelets. Welcome back. We are taking you on a tour of some of the greatest breakfast spots all throughout Northeast Ohio. Our next stop happens to be in Painesville and it has a bit of an ethnic twist. I was looking for a place here in, uh, in Painesville, you know, and uh, exactly in the square because I knew there was a lot of business going on. I said, like, you know, the, the people that work in the business area district, they, they, they might be able to find, you know, a, a good place to eat. And this is the type of food that we, we do. You know, we, uh, we open 73 every day. Uh, in the summertime, we open on Friday only 7 to 9, all day. We, uh, it's a car show going on in the, in the square. They, uh, and it, it is a lot of business that we can, uh, somehow or another, we help uh, the people that 
boss in the car shows, you know, we, we let them know that we're around, that we're open. Homemade green salsa. salsa. We try to have like a breakfast for the people that live here and in, in the Painsville area and lunch time for the people that work in the, in the area as well. Breakfast, we have the Fats Benedict, which is made with uh, Benedict, uh, Fats Benedict sauce. It's a uh, Thousand Island with uh, some of the hot spicy sauces and also has chorizo peris, tomatoes, and some expo shakes. Uh, they all come, all the breakfast comes with home fries. We just put them on the side. And then we got some uh, new creation that I'm trying to work on is chilaquiles, which I'm from, uh, I'm from the south, you know, I, I like people to try new different things. So it's, it's, a, it's, a different, um, it's a different kick to it. A couple of people try and they, they think it's really good. I'm trying to go a little bit easy on the, on the spice, you know, so, so they can have a, a really good meal. And this is our chorizo biscuit and gravy. It's kind of my kick to the biscuits and gravy, but it's the chorizo gravy. Uh, again, something that is from my culture that I kind of trying to give it a little twist for, for the customers to try. We also have the uh, kind of dessert, um, the waffles. Everybody knows waffles, you know. We use some of the uh, vanilla cream sauce that we, uh, that we create in the house. Uh, we top it with different things. This time we top it with strawberry. Sometimes we do banana, pecan, uh, blue, uh, blueberry with chocolate chips. Uh, we always try to do something different every week. So this is for our ultimate Italian grilled cheese. Garlic toast, mozzarella cheese, tomato, meatballs, and a couple of mozzarella sticks on there. Um, the cowboy burger, this is just about my best favorite one because something different. It has a little kick to different things. It, it, you get the bun, you get the lettuce, you get the tomato, and then you get the, the burger. And then you got bacon, cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese. Uh, we put some barbecue sauce and another ring on top. I knew how to cook Mexican food, but I didn't know how to cook any American food. So I started working in a restaurant. Uh, I actually started like a dishwasher, and then I moved to a buzzer, and then I went to a prep cook. And for some reason, that was the person there that I, that I met. He really believed in me. He saw something in me I, that I didn't see. I felt like it was something that I was, something that I was missing. I knew how to cook that, but at the same time, because of my, my background, I said like it has to be a something that I can twist together. We can put some American food with a Mexican food. You know, it, it, it's not quite or, original Mexican food though, but it has because I like the twist of um, a lot of American food that is really good. It, it works out. It works out, and I have a really good crew in the back. I mean, uh, my chef, you know, Sean and Garrett. He's he's awesome. We always working together. We always. Uh, playing with our kids, trying to figure it out what to do, something together we can put for the customers. You know, we like to, uh, we have a special board that we do every day. We always making sure that we have from four to five different items every day. Just something that is not in the menu so people can actually try. And it works out, it works out for the best, you know. Flavors around the square, also known as Fats, is really easy to find. It is in Painesville. It is right around the corner of the square. Okay, I finally found you in the back of the house here, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Hat, Hatfield's Good Grub. So, so where'd you get this name, Hatfield's Good Grub? I'm actually a, a true Hatfield. I'm a direct descendant of the Hatfield family. It's a good um, thing the McCoys don't live across the street, right? Yeah, well, we thought about that, and we'd still throw rocks or maybe biscuits at them. Hey, did they see your name on a food truck? Absolutely. I've uh, had a food truck here since uh, around September of 2015, um, and then we came to Cam's Corner around December 5th is when we opened here. But we came in September of, of 2016. So. so, so we're at Camp's Corner at like 16700 Lorraine, right? Yep. So it's, absolutely. it's easy to find. But the funny thing about it is, when you walk up to it, it didn't look like a restaurant to me. I thought I was going into a furniture store. <laughs> well, that, there's a, an eclectic mix of furniture in here. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's like you want to come in and just sit down at the front of the house, and I figure out that's sort of how this whole thing works. Like you order your food up front, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's kind of based on my food truck. You know how you order at the front window of a food truck, go to the back and pick it up. 
same style here. We uh, have the front counter, you order there, uh, we ring a bell and you come back and pick up your own food. You can sit wherever you like. I've got like a porch area, living room area, dining room area, and actually back here, I call it Grandma's Kitchen, so you can actually sit in the kitchen as well. Speaking of Grandma, I met your mom. Oh yeah, yeah. she's cool, huh? Ma, everybody calls her Ma. Ma, okay, so I said, Ma, did you teach Ken how to cook? She says, oh no, he taught me how to cook. That's pretty good. So, so tell me about some of your food grouping. Like, you make biscuits, right? I make biscuits. I've got some in the oven right now. Uh, we do, a, this is a, called a Hatfield hash. It's like a smoked paprika, potato hash, with onions and garlic. Um, we do omelets, uh, biscuits and gravy. Um, I do a crazy thing called a hillbilly benedict. Uh, What's in a hillbilly benedict? <laughs> a hillbilly benedict is a corn fritter instead of an English muffin. I like it. It's pulled pork barbecue instead of Canadian bacon, fried eggs instead of poached eggs, and then a hickory smoked hollandaise sauce. Wow. Now, I yeah. saw a whole bunch of burgers that really look creative. I saw some pulled pork stuff. I saw some chicken stuff. So you do lunch and dinner. But, you know, this is a breakfast show. So, so yeah. what do you recommend for breakfast here? I would say you can get a lot of the same stuff that we do in our sandwiches later on in the day. Uh, like there's a thing called a hillbilly filly. Hillbilly filly. Hillbilly filly, which is... <laughs> it's like a song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which is basically a, a slow smoked, uh, hickory smoked beef, pork, or chicken. Uh, you can have those three choices. Comes with uh, mushrooms, onions, green peppers, all sautéed together with three kinds of cheese. Put, uh, then eggs are put into it, so you can make it an egg, yeah. uh, and or you can make it a like a, a burrito, like a breakfast burrito, or I make that into an omelet. The eclectic furniture, I love that a lot. And I saw I saw a picture on the wall, like an old guy in front of a fireplace. Yes, my mother bought that picture when I was uh, when she was pregnant with me, and it's actually been in every single house that I've ever lived in in my entire life. Like, good luck. So it's, well, it's like one of those things, you know, I feel like I'm at home now that I put it in here. Hey, this guy's cooked in Africa. He's cooked all over the world. Yeah. Does some crazy stuff. When I heard that, man, that was great. But when it all comes down, it's all about Southern comfort food, isn't it? Absolutely. It's about making food that makes everybody feel good. Well, I want you to come out and see Ken at Hatfield because it is, it is terrific. It is good grub. Thank and you very some much. other good news, he also has a food truck that you can uh, have come out to a party or something like that. So that's something else to think about. But the first thing, come out here. It's a big place. I say a lot of people come this because there's a lot of room Absolutely. and a lot of great food. Well, thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot, so man. Much. Hey, coming up after the break, guess what? Chicken and waffles. Delicious. I think that's something that's missing in the community today is that place where people can just go and hang out. And I wanted that. Welcome back to Breakfast Round 3. That's right, our next stop is a classic diner with a modern menu. It's called the Village Diner. What is the Village Diner? It is your local diner. Uh, serving your basic comfort food, um, eggs, omelets, pancakes, Lunch foods go to corned beef sandwiches, hamburgers, all hand pressed, chicken, salads, basically what you would expect from a diner. Malts, uh, good milkshakes, uh, pie, apple pie. We do, I'm trying to think what else we make, sundaes. Oh, why do I love diners? I love food. And I was actually in the catering business for a really long time, and I learned a lot about food and about people. But in the back of my mind, I always kind of wanted something that was just mine. And actually talking about Shorty's was one of the first diners I ever went to, and I loved that place. And Manners, back in the Babs Big Boy, just that comfort place where you go and you're comfortable, you feel at home. And um, about a year and a half ago, I was at a job that I wasn't really happy with, and this place came up for sale. And I said to my, you know, my dad actually came to me and said, do you want to buy the diner? And I was like, yeah. There wasn't even a hesitation. And we came in here and turned this place around. I told somebody once I wanted it to be like Cheers, where everybody actually knows each other, they know your name, you come in, and it's, you know, instead of, hey, Norm, it's, hi, Marcy. <laughs> and that's what we've gotten. Food is good. Everything is homemade. We do a lot of omelets. We have a lot of classic omelets, your Irish omelet with the corned beef in it. Our veggie omelet's really popular. But we also do a build your own, and they have a lot of options to put in their omelets. We make our own home fries, so they have an option with uh, crispy or non-crispy, and we put grilled onions on it. I don't know if people grew up in the east side, but there was a place called Mobby's, 
that was known for their grilled onions, and I think we've mastered pretty close to the same onions. So a lot of people, if you look over there, are actually eating. They pile them on. So um, breakfast sandwiches are really popular too. We do a lot of locks here because we have a high Jewish community. So it's something like they used to get at the delis, but they don't want to necessarily go that far, so they can come and get that here too. All right, we're gonna do chicken and waffles today, one of our big dishes here at the diner. Take a pound of chicken breast into a flour mix. Egg wash, then into the deep fryer. Five or six minutes. Make your plate of here. Waffles done. We're gonna dip it in a sauce that we have. It's a combination of butter and honey and lemon pepper. And a little drizzle over the top. And that's our chicken and waffles. I think that's something that's missing in the community today is that place where people can just go and hang out, and I wanted that. And so when I went and picked all the pictures, I, I put that into my mind and said that's what I want to bring in here, and I did. We have a really fun kids menu where they can get their eggs and their bacon, or we make a Mickey Mouse shaped pancake. We also have a treat for them. Behind me is a little cabinet that has all their toys and prizes, and we bribe them. If they eat good and behave, they get a prize. The parents get a benefit out of it because their kids actually eat good and don't scream through the meal. And then I get a repeat customer out of it too. And it's really fun. The kids actually, the regulars, know exactly where the cabinet is. They come in and they pick out their car before they even eat. So it's really fun. We've made it very kid-friendly and family-friendly here too. You're going to have a lot of fun here. We have great servers. We have really good food. And we have that hometown feel. I wanted it to be that corner place and it is. The Village Diner is located in Orange that's right between Solon and Bedford near the Miles Market. Our next stop has made the Eggle famous. What is that you might ask? It's when the bagel meets the egg. Here's Berry Bagels. Berry Bagels is founded in 1972 from Berry Greenblatt. Um, he had opened up four stores in the Toledo uh, Toledo area and has two in Michigan and decided he wanted to really spread this product throughout Ohio. So Vance and I, um, having grown up in the Toledo area and loving the product and eating it, we wanted to share um, this great product with the community and the community has just loved it. The bagels are so sought after because we do it New York style. We boil and then we bake our bagels. So they're extra um, soft and chewy and just are so delicious. People are so excited that this product is here now in Avon. They are coming back weekly, daily, because this is their breakfast place. They come here for their eggles. They come to create their own sandwich, because that's what we do, is we create the sandwich that you want and make it for you. It's all custom. And I think what's so exciting about it is it's such a good product and great people that behind the product. So Barry really was that person who gave back to the community, and we want to do that as well. Um, the product itself sells itself, but the good people behind the product, I think, is what makes it really happen as well. So today we're going to make a, uh, grab one of our fresh honey, honey wheat bagels. We're going to grab some of our fresh sliced turkey, um, add some fresh sliced Havarti to that, and then we're going to put some, uh, some great produce on it. Nice big piece of turkey on there, layer up our Havarti, and then we'll go with some fresh tomato lettuce on top and a little bit of red onion there as well and that honey dijon right on top and we'll give that a nice slice and there's our honey wheat with turkey havarti honey dijon lettuce tomato onion so we want people to feel like they're at home we want them to if they want to bring in their laptop and work from here bring in their family come in for sunday brunch come in after church we want people to feel comfortable and um, we, we have to say it's been that way. We have the same people coming in um, day after day, repeat customers, whether they're business, coming in for business or just coming in with their family. We're open seven days a week. We open uh, 6.30 in the morning, Monday through Saturday, and we're closed at 7 p.m. And then Sunday we have hours from eight to three. On our menu, we have um, all different types of meats and cheeses. We have uh, wonderful meats that we slice here, fresh daily, corned beef, pastrami, turkey pastrami, uh, three different types of turkey as well and we make all of our own salads so we make tuna salad potato salad macaroni salad chicken salad all made from scratch and it's berry's recipe 
I'd say some of our best sellers would be the corned beef. You can't seem to keep that on the shelves. We're slicing it every day, fresh daily. It's lean corned beef, it's delicious. It's the high end, highest end corned beef um, that we can find and that's what we offer. I love coming to work. I love owning my own business and, and working with these great people. It's not just my husband and I that, that make this business work. It's all the great staff that we have behind it. And I just love this product. I believe in it. I've been eating it since I was a child. And I think it sells itself when you take that first bite into that awesome pastrami sandwich. Um, and I love being able to make people happy every day and, and their enjoy coming back and having our great coffee and our great sandwiches here. We visited the Berry Bagels locations on Center Road in Avon, but they also have a spot in Sandusky. Up next, it is Breakfast in the Valley. If you're a big eater, this is probably one of our top two sellers. You could, three people could probably eat that. Welcome back to our breakfast show. I love this. This is definitely the most important meal of the day, and I got Absolutely. one of the most important people sitting right next oh, to me, BJ here. Stop. We're down in Valley Cafe Thanks. in the Merriman Valley. Mm -hmm. Love the spot. I've been down here before. Now you redid the place. Yep, we gutted the whole inside. Our landlord generously added a room and some room in back so we could add equipment. It's because to, you, uh, you need space because you have so many customers right. that come through this place. It's and crazy. And you've seen how small our kitchen is, so we couldn't have pulled that off with uh, without more room for the kitchen. So. It's been a beautiful thing. The people support us over, we're here nine years now this summer, and uh, our second spot's open too, and it's all from support of people. We don't Wadsworth. advertise. Wadsworth's the number two. It's funny because when people found out we were coming here, they made sure to say, hey, have you been to the Wadsworth location too? Uh -huh. So two great locations to yep. stop by. Absolutely. And some of the, the food, I mean, how can you beat this stuff? Thank you. I can't remember what this is called. This is called as the I Dan's Barnyard. Dan's Barnyard? Yep, lots of food, named after a customer. You have, invented you it. have foods that are named after a lot yeah. of customers, yeah. right? Our theory is if you invent it well, and it sells, we'll put your name on it. <laughs> Most Why chicken mine keto on there yet? I gotta figure something yeah. else. Well, oddly enough, my daughter tried nine different things to invent, because of course her brother had one on the menu. And she said, put something on named after me. And I'm like, no, you have to make it up. So she tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. And then she finally came up with the Moe's Chicken Pita. And it is about three to one our best selling sandwich at lunchtime. Good for her. For years now. For years. Good for her. She's now in college. She did it when she was a kid. So That's awesome. yeah, it's lasted for a while. So yeah. So how's this rank on the list of favorites? Uh, this is prop if you're a big eater, this is probably one of our top two sellers. You could three people could probably eat that. And we have, they still would be full and not We have a young leftovers. lady that comes on Sundays that's smaller than you, which is saying a lot because you're tiny. Her <laughs> arms are about that big, and she, she licks the bowl clean. What's Crushes in it. there? It's, What's um, in there? Can we? I want to yeah, just tear through this just to, for Dig people in. to see. It's uh, two buttermilk biscuits, two sausage patties, two eggs, some of our Oh, look at how the fries. ooey gooey eggs just come out. Oh my. And it's all smothered with our uh, spicy sausage gravy, which we make in-house. We make every soup sauce and gravy here. And we have we have everything for the huge eater down to, you know, French toast or, or fruit. We're starting to carry fruit again. We didn't through the winter. What's that gravy consist of? Uh, it's a simple red-eye gravy that I learned to make when I was a kid. It's uh, We get our sausage ground down in oh. Amish country and made to our specs. Flour, so spices, and milk. Simple. That All is made here every day. Delicious. Every I day. I'm not quite sure how one person can finish that. Yeah, but they do. Clearly it's rare. they do. And it heats up really well. So you can always take leftovers. Hangover, hangover cure at 2 in the morning, <laughs> from what I've been told. You wouldn't know. No, not at all. Never. Now, Never. this French toast, is this, fr is this considered French this toast? Is, no, it's not French toast because we don't toast. dip it in, a, in an egg batter. We okay. do have traditional French toast. This is a cinnamon bread. We call it Amish cinnamon bread because we buy it from Amish country. I don't think it's technically Amish. And it mm. comes, it, you can get it by itself or with eggs and bacon or any kind of meat you want, any kind of eggs you want. Yeah, it's pretty popular. That's mind blowing. Yeah. Now, where does this rank on the list of items? Uh, I would say that's got to be up, up there. there too. Top They're five. up there. It's always hard. We, we do all these things as specials to try to add things to the menu. It's like we got to get rid of something at some point, but, but you we can't. haven't been able to because they're all Because good. customers will, well, I see how many are in health. They'd be very angry with yeah, you. Yeah, they would. And you don't want to make your customers no, angry. Never, never. <laughs> so we tried to cure that with just doing seasonal specials just as a separate item from the regular menu. We've showed you just two of the many options on the menu that you must come and get yeah, and when you're at Valley Cafe. I do want to stress too, because people see this and go, I'm not that big an eater. 
we have small items, we have omelets, we have a piece of French toast, we have muffins that we make here. We have things for all eaters, not just that not one. Not just that. <laughs> not just that one. That's a popular one, but I don't want anybody thinking, oh God, I can't eat that much, I'll go somewhere else. No, we have from small to large appetites are you, covered. You name it. Kids love it. Pancakes they have are it. the bomb. So. Merriman Valley, come check them out. You will not be disappointed. We remember most restaurants because of the menu. Well, in this case, it's all about the service. We're talking service with sass. We're headed to JT's Diner. You better cook it right. It's gonna be wrong. I'm gonna kick you or you know what. JT's is family owned. We've been in business for about 18 years. We were on Lost Nation, now we moved to Lakeshore. Um, it's family ran, family owned. My husband and me took it over when we were like 20. And it's a fantastic place. It's fun, it's lifting, you know, it's not, you know, lay, it's not like laid back. It's like, you know, crazy. High five to that. You guys have a good day. You have to have a sense of humor. I mean, we have a great time. I mean, everyone here, all my customers and my staff and everyone else, they're pretty amazing. I've got a great staff and, you know, customer clientele. The food, it's a, um, you know, normal, regular breakfast, lunch. Uh, we are only open till two o'clock. We just do normal food. My dad's the cook. Um, he's amazing. He's been cooking with me for like 17 years. I made him quit his other job to come work for me. Um, it's good, it's great, it's normal, you know, it's not fancy and it's not a million dollars. So, it's awesome. Oh, they're my favorite animals. And these, and these, all these giraffes are from all my customers. Not one have I bought for myself. Uh, well, you know, most of the time it's more word of mouth. We don't advertise, we don't do anything. It's more like I'll have customers bring in other customers and they won't tell them that the whole thing is joking around and having a good time and playing around. And, and it's so funny because I walk up to them and they just look at me like a deer in headlights and they, they're like, whoa, you know, but they love it. And then they come back and then they bring someone else. And it's like a big family in here. Everyone gets along. We all harass everyone. We all just joke around all day long. Oh, who are you? Can you get off your phone? I hate cell phones. You know what, you gotta talk. No one talks anymore. Everyone's always on their phone texting or whatever, and it's like, no one, it, it's ridiculous. So I like them putting their phone away and have a conversation, you know? Five minutes of your time of talking is awesome. Comes with home fries if you mean the menu. I love it. You know what, it, it's amazing to see everyone smile and actually have a good time and not be uptight all the time and always thinking, you know, like I'm not, you know, everyone's gotta just lay back and relax and not be so uptight and so snotty. That's not the world. We need to be fun and happy and everything else. Morning. Good morning. Sit. You might get harassed right when you walk in the door and get told to sit down loser or something like that, but don't be offended, it's all in good fun. Can I have the rest of the food? No. JT's Diner is located on Lakeshore Boulevard in Willoughby. Still to come, donuts, cinnamon rolls, and more. Well, I've been working here since I was 15. I like them all. <laughs> and it depends on the day and my mood and what I, but I usually eat one a day, if not more. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. It's a breakfast show, and this is breakfast show round three, and we have found a place in Independence on Brexel Road. I'm lucky to get Brad out of the kitchen because it may be a small looking place, but that kitchen's on fire back there. You got things going from scratch, right? All from scratch. Uh, the only thing we don't do is our bakery from scratch. So, but that's because we're a small kitchen. But everything we do for, is from scratch. And my coffee's almost from scratch. It's almost from scratch. <laughs> we get it from a place called Crusoe's down the street. So we stay local as much as we can. Well, I gotta tell you something. The folks here are very happy about the food they're getting because the food they get, you read it, and it looks like something you know what it's gonna look like when it comes to the table, but it looks totally different. Yeah, that's our concept. It, our, our actually slogan is called, uh, if you're thinking traditional, think again. What I try to do with our menu is take a traditional standpoint, but just modify it and modernize it and make it contemporary so to get uh, old people in here. 
classic people, then uh, new people, young people, hipsters. Well, I get everybody. I saw some corned beef hash come out, and I almost ran over to the table with a fork of my own to give it a shot. Yeah. I mean, not only was the corned beef hash, but it was just like slices of corned beef there. Yeah, instead of a, your traditional ground up, we make it slices so you have to get in it. Yeah. And how about that burrito? I saw a burrito. It looked like something uh, Tom Brady would throw in the Super Bowl. Oh, it's big. It is a big it's thing. Big. So what do you think that thing weighs? Uh, probably about a pound. About a pound. Yeah. Yeah, so how did you come up with the ideas for the scratch food? Like, one of the ones that really rem is remarkable to me is the French toast, because it's not really French toast. It looks like a giant bread pudding or something. Yeah, I mean, we, we cook it uh, in a big hotel pan from scratch. Uh, yeah, then we doctor it up. We put we make it bread pudding, then we fry it like a toast, like a French toast. And, you know, we're talking about the different kind of people that come to the place, you know, like this is a neighborhood spot, but there are people of all ages in here. And I mean, I see little tiny kids in here enjoying the food. Yeah, yeah, we cater to kids, too. We eat uh, our pancake batter from scratch, so even that's something. We start from flour and eggs. We don't, we don't go, we don't buy uh, Betty Crocker, no. Betty Mix. No, no, no we can't no. do that. Hey, so I was talking about the French toast. What is that stuff on top of the French toast? It's a blueberry moonshine sauce. I like, moonshine? Yeah, we put moonshine in it, uh, Old Smoky. Moonshine. Uh, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what we do is just reduce our blueberries. Uh, then we add a little moonshine, reduce to get the alcohol out of it. A little vanilla, a little sugar, kind of sweeten it up. Right. It's not too sweet. It has like nice, nice touch to the sweetness. But like old people would call it a compote or something yeah. like that, maybe. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into this now. So what time do you open for breakfast? We open at 7 a.m. and we close at 3. We're open Tuesday to Saturday. Tuesday to Saturday. Yeah. There are also, it says, breakfast all day. All day. So what, what are the most popular breakfast items? Most popular we have is that French toast that you were talking about. It's uh, popular. I mean, we go through about, I don't know, about 30 orders a day. Or 30 orders a week, my yeah. bad. Uh, yeah, that's one of our most popular. Then a healthy option is a salmon benedict. People like, yeah. it's a different take on salmon, or a benedict. It has uh, fresh vegetables, rutabaga, arugula. Salmon, little Maltese version of Hollandaise, yeah. and it's and it's hits home. Everybody loves it. I want to tell everybody at home: this guy knows what he's doing. And the other thing I want to ask: one more question. So when you go out to a bar to have a drink, do they card you? Sometimes. Dog on right. Kid looks like he's 12 years old, but he cooks like a, like an old pro. Yeah. Great man. Sorry. Thanks. Thank Place you. It's called Scratch. It's in Independence, right on Brexel Road, right off the square. Easy to find. You gotta look close. Breakfast just wouldn't be the same without the donut. Our next stop is open around the clock too. Check out Spud Nuts. The specialty about Spud Nuts is that we put potato flour on our mix. It does have wheat flour also though, but it has potato flour which gives it the special flavor. Two brothers um, came up with this recipe, adding potato flour to a donut mix to give it a significant flavor. And so the spuds comes from the potato and the nuts comes from donuts. Plus we make them here in the store 24 hours a day so they're always fresh. They're not always hot, but they are fresh 24 hours a day. Um, we started, we opened in 1970 up on Menor Avenue and built this building in 74. A lot of people would say it's the apple fritters, but basically it's all of them. I mean, we have a large variety of different kinds. Um, we make a large donut cake for birthdays and parties, and we've been getting a lot of orders for those lately. Um, we have the apple fritters, cinnamon rolls, filled donuts, blueberry fritters, cherry chop sueys glazed donuts, the sour cream people just go nuts over. They say they can't find them anywhere else. The cinnamon rolls are hand rolled. We make large ones and little ones. That is the one thing that we have both big and little because they're so popular. We sell over 400 dozen a day at least. That's probably the minimum. Well, I've been working here since I was 15. I like them all, <laughs> and it depends on the day and my mood and what I, but I usually eat one a day, if not more. I tell my customers, come in every day and just get a different donut each day, and because I don't, there's not a bad one that we have. But it's just a family-friendly mom-and-pop shop. 
which is nice. We know everybody's names and our, our regular coffee customers have their own coffee cup with their name on it that they use when they come in. Our regular customers usually, when they're walking in the door, their coffee's already made, their donuts are bagged, ready to go. When we're busy, it's nice because you have a line of people out the door, but half of them are regular customers and you know what they're getting, so you can be getting theirs along with everybody else. So they're in and out and on their way to work. I mean, we have people that come in seven days a week. You can set your clocks by the time they come in. They're just in to hang out and talk and visit with friends. Just a dream I always had, and I just love my coffee shop, my donut shop. <laughs> Bud Nuts is on Center Street in Menor, and again, they're open 24 hours a day. After the break, a place that is known for the breakfast corned beef. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. It's round three for breakfast. That's right, and this is our final stop, and we're going to North Royalton, where corned beef hash and pancakes are favorites. Coffee. Flo's Bistro is a family owned and operated business. The name Flo's comes from my husband's grandmother. She passed away and she's always wanted him to open a restaurant so we decided to name it after her. Everyone that works here is family. My kids work here, we have six kids. So when you come in, we really are all family. Everything here is made from scratch, from fresh ingredients. So. Um, sometimes it may take a little longer, but you're getting quality, fresh food. My husband's always been the cook. He's a phenomenal cook. I mean, he can make anything taste good. Probably our biggest sellers are corned beef hash. The corned beef is made every day here, fresh. So when we run out, we run out. People go crazy over our pancakes. I can honestly say we have the best pancakes anywhere. All of our portions are fairly large. We also have something different, we call it our flow size. Because grandmas are little and some people don't have a big hearty appetite. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, you're so sweet. We love North Royalton. It's a great city and it was centrally located and we just loved it here. Had a good feel when we came in the building. wanted people to come in here and feel like they were visiting a friend or at their mom's house. So that's the feel. Most of our customers, once they came in, they become regulars. You guys good over here? We know them personally, so they are also our family. Flo's Bistro is located on Ridge Road in North Royalton. Well, that's going to do it for our show, Breakfast Round 3. And if we miss some place that you really like, get in touch with us. Tell us about it. And if you want the information or directions to one of the places we visited today, just go to our website. Well, that's going to do it. Let me look here. Holy crow, it's almost time for lunch. For Natalie Herbeck, I'm David Moss. We'll see you on the next New Day Cleveland.